Okay, so now we're going to build the wheeled sled runway and slide. And you're going to start with a base plate. You need two long rods. So one row away from the end and then one will be right on the end. And, the, and then there will be four holes in between them. Then you'll take two large frames and you need one short rod and you're going to stick the short rod in between them and you can use anchor pins. Stick the short rod onto the long frame, stick some more anchor pins onto the short rod and then add the large frame. So now you might want to add the other, a second face plate. So this is going to hang out right here in between the two long rods and what you're going to use is you're going to use a long axle. You want to make sure that the long rods have the side with the hole that's cl really close to the end fa facing out. You're going to stick the long axle into the second hole and then you're going to stick the long axle into the bottom corner hole of the large frames and, and then you're going to stick the, to the crank on the end so it looks like that. Okay, so now we're going to build the vehicle. So we're going to need one short frame and two short rods and we're going to stick some anchor pins on the frame. We'll stick an anchor pin right here. We'll stick another anchor pin right here. And then on the other side, an anchor pin two holes from the end. And once again, two holes from the end. So then we can stick a short rod on here, lining these two sides up. And same story on the other side. <laughs> so here we have the body. Now we're going to take two long rods and we are going to put a big gear all the way to the stop side, add a washer, and add an axle stop. And then we're going to stick this in the very last hole that's open. Then we're going to stick another washer and no axle stop this time, we're just going to stick the other wheel on. So here's the back wheels of the vehicle. So now we're going to take the other, the other rod, we're going to stick a big gear on it all the way till it hits the stop. Another washer and then an axle stop. Make sure that both axle stops, the one that's on this axle and the one that's already on the axle that's on the car, are on the same side of the car. So I'm going to stick this in the second hole. Then on this side, I'm going to stick a washer and a big gear. So now the car can move. It's got the same width. The wheels are all lined up. So now we have our vehicle. So let's set this aside for a moment while we continue to build this. Now we need two base plates. And we're going to get two long rods and a short frame. We're going to stick the two long rods into the end of the short frame. Then we'll stick a short rod right into the middle so that it the stop stops it from falling all the way through. And then underneath, two shaft plugs on both sides. So it looks like this. And then onto these two shaft plugs, we're going to stick two small sprocket wheels. And here's two. All right. And in the picture, I'm looking at picture number two. It looks like we're supposed to stick this together, which we're going to do in a second. So 
first add two anchor pins to the bottom of the long rods with the sprocket wheels facing down you're gonna put the two long rods around the setup so it goes like this then stick the short rod into this opening right here see and then put the anchor pins into the fourth hole and then you can push it together so I'll show you from the front this you can see in picture number three so now we're ready to move on to picture number four so you would assume that if we stick a car on a slope it would just fall down but because the car moves but the car actually doesn't just slide down it needs to use the lever and the lever is going to show you kinetic friction turning into a rolling friction. If I lift the lever, the car should go down the slope. This doesn't work perfectly for me. It might take a little fidgeting. So don't get discouraged if it doesn't work perfectly for you. Thank mm -hmm. you.